there's a place up north. Gulf country. My country. My name is Alec Dumaji, and I am from the Wangi, Garawa, and Gangalita peoples. I'm on my way up to where I grew up. I'm heading to Dumaji for the biggest event of the year. The Gulf Country Frontier Days Festival is coming to Dumaji. It's something I'm very proud of, and we hope it becomes an event the whole Gulf Country can be proud of. It gives us an opportunity to share our heritage and show people what makes this part of the world so special. Rodeoing out here is part of the country. It's a bread and butter of the local people. Aboriginal people love rodeoing, and so does all the surrounding pastoralists. They all come in because they're stockmen, they're cattlemen, they're horsemen, and they come together to enjoy the rodeo. The Gulf Country Frontier Days Festival is about bringing people together, but it's also about having fun, and rodeos are fun. I need the buckle. I need to find myself a buckle. I got the cowboy hat and everything else. Whoa, whoa, hey! Look at that! Hey guys, last year's. That's a real bona fide cowboy buckle. While the festival is all about entertainment, there are still some top prizes on offer. Now, well, I come back to reclaim my title. Ooh, hear that? She's back to reclaim her title. Dawn now in the final throws before calling for that shoot gate. Now, Dawn calls for the gate. Out the arena. Come on, Dawn. Sit up, stay aboard him. Hey, come on, Dumaji, let's give a big round of applause for Dawn Baker. Well, a score comes in, a score of 62 points. That takes her to the lead in this, our final round of the Ladies' Steer Ride. This is an authentic bush rodeo experience in the heart of the last frontier. While it's not strictly an Indigenous rodeo, the Frontier Days Festival will include the first ever Indigenous Rodeo Championships. We've been having Dumaji rodeos here for a long time, going back to the early 70s. Here's young Carl! Let him up, young Carl! Oh, jingles! But we used to have rodeos as long as I can remember, you know. It mightn't have been like we've got today, but we've always had rodeos. Clarence Walden is an old Aboriginal cowboy and is the well-known voice of the rodeo and his commentary style is one of a kind. There he goes, Stephen, you got him, brother. Holy jingles. We got a fair bit under the bonnet, that bull. Aboriginal rodeos have always been part of life up in this area. And now the Frontier Days Festival is bringing it back bigger and better than ever. Stick around and we'll get to that after the break. People have always loved bush rodeos. There's nothing else like it, and it's a wonderful platform for the local Aboriginal cowboys to show off their talents. Now, calls for the shoot out in the arena. The big grey horse got to sit up the board. Come on, Gerald, stick on him. Let's give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Gerald Upland. It's a pretty special and unique event, and this year our plans for the event are something special too. In 2017, the first Indigenous Rodeo Championships will be held as part of the Gulf Country Frontier Days Festival. This will be the first competition of its kind in Australia. We are inviting people from all backgrounds to come and compete, but only Indigenous competitors will be eligible to take home the Indigenous Championship buckles. Well, nearly everybody here that lives in Dumaji and come from around the region, they've all been stockmen, you know? And that's all, that's all we really thrived on, the back of the cattle industry in the early days. And that's why it's something that people really like seeing, you know, bucking horses. Yeah, when we used to have a station here before we used to run a lot of cattle here, see, in the, in the days. And we used to have big mob of cattle and horses and people loved to see horses bucking and that. Oh, here he comes. Give it to him, boy. You got it. You got it. You got it. Oh, oh look oh, at him. Oh, Jingles. Put your hands together, boy. Yeah, I rode a few bulls in my time. Yeah, with, with Gill Brothers, the traveling rodeo show that. Everybody looked forward to rodeo. Yeah, rodeo, rodeo. You know, it's, it's a real big event for Dumas. You know, like. People come from far and wide. You know, some people come here 
and ride and got right into big circuits, you know, and they reckon that this is the best rodeo they've ever seen for a bush one, you know. But now it's becoming more than a bush rodeo. And I, I really like it, you know. I've been sort of a, a partaker of the rodeo for a long time. And I used to be one of the main riders in the rodeo, you know, like back in the days. But now I still take part in as a commentator, you know. And I really like doing it. I oh, know, here's Gilbert coming out to shoot. Take to him, Gilbert. You got him, Gilbert. There goes Gilbert. Look at him. His name is Bernie. You got him, Gilbert. Oh, you got put you out together for Gilbert. What a ride. Hey, he made it to the top. Clary is one of the local elders here, and he's part of the team we've brought together to make the Indigenous Championships possible. Oh, mate, I tell you, it'll blow this place apart, you know? Like, we, we hardly been recognised in this country, you know, like a lot of people still ask me, where's Dumaji? I said, well, if you've never been there, mate, I suggest you should come there when we have our rodeo or have our carnival, football carnival or something, you know. That's why I'd like people to come here and see how good the place is. It's not only the good vibes that make this event special. The riders who compete in the rodeo are first class and the indigenous competitors are the best from this region. You've got your main events like the Saddle Bronc and the Bareback Ride. I know he and Wallaby, watch him. There he goes, Wallaby, rip him, mate. You got him, Wallaby. You got him, Wallaby. Oh, oh. Hey, you had him there, mate. You had him, but you leaned too far forward. And the big one, the Bull Ride. I know, he goes, Pete. Oh, Jingo's paint, look at! Oh, mate, I'm Costa, but watch out! Oh, look out now, Costa! Oh! The novices and the kids compete in some junior events too. Oh, no, Carl, you got him, boy, hit him up! Hit him with a spur, Carl! Hit him with a spur, Carl! You got him! You got him! Oh, Carl! The Open Saddle Bronc event in Doomadgee is named in honour of a young Aboriginal cowboy called Alwood Foster. And at last year's event, it was pretty special because Alwood's older brother, Moses Foster, went on to become the 2016 Saddle Bronc champion. Hit him now, you got him. Up to him, Moses. Take to him, Moses. Grab him now, Moses. Grab him now, Moses. Take to him, mate. Put you out together for the cowboy there. You done real good this weekend. This is an opportunity to create a really special event. Who knows? One day it could become the international championship for Indigenous rodeo. Everyone comes out for the rodeo, especially the kids. It's family. You know, you see fathers getting on and then kids getting on and the mothers in the stand and that. And I think the whole concept about ro rodeo is the fact that you, you test your own ability, you know, test your own fears and push yourself to the limit. And that's what these kids want to do, you know. I mean, like I said, it's heritage. That's a big part of it, riding buck and horses and that was what they've done in the bush. But I think it's the challenge of it, you know, that's what Rodeo is about it's challenging yourself and see if you can stand up to the task. There's big plans for it, you know, to make it uh, professional in a certain way, but not professional where it um, takes all the heritage out of, I suppose. You know, the indigenous are, you know, stockmen off the land and it's their heritage and they want to keep it going. Um, yeah, we're going to turn this rodeo into a pretty, pretty special event eventually, yes. The men's bull ride is always a big event. It's a chance for the local cowboys to show their skills. Right on, there he goes, young Peter. Take me, Peter. Oh, look at this. No deal is the name of the ball. Come on, do my team, let's make some noise. There he goes, Stephen, you got him, brother. Holy jingles. He got a fair bit under the ball of that ball. They're braver men than me. It's pretty rough out there. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, All the way to uh, 
from our emergency paramedic team down there is that uh, they need to take the young cowboy away for some assessments. The big boys have their fun, but there's a lot more quality riding to see this weekend. And a lot of that is from the little guys. It's potty calf ride time, and kids love this stuff. Have a look at this little one over here. Come and check this little cowgirl out. That's a little Aboriginal cowgirl right there. Look at that. Uh, her father's a really good cowboy too. Her father's actually my grandson. And he's tying her up. She's going to ride. Good look, she's ready to go. These kids love riding, and they love cowgirling. They love cowboy. I want to show you how young and how early they start training them out here. Come check this out. How old are you, mate? Eight. Eight years old. And you're riding. What's your name? Maurice Edwards. You're a brave young man. Gulf Country boys are made tough. They start young and they thrive on the challenge at weekends like this. Let me introduce you to a young Dumuji fella who's got a big future. I heard of bull riders, calf riders, I heard of bronc riders, I heard of bareback riders, but I don't think I've ever heard of any Alec Dumaji riders. Show me how you ride. What if I buck like that? Peter Gregory Jr. is one of our rising stars on the rodeo scene, and he's a local Dumaji boy. I can ride with him. This, this guy here is the 2016 Manizer Rodeo Potty Calf Champion. The whole community is behind Peter Gregory Jr. and he's got some incredible natural talent. How are you feeling? Feeling great. Tell me, what made you want to become a cowboy and ride, my son? My, my dad. Peter doesn't just show up and have a go. He's training back home with his dad who is currently a PBR bull rider. How do you train this young man? I make him become a bull rider because I get him on the drum, I put him on the drum, the three of them boys, I put him on the drum, then I get him off the drum, then I put him on the back of a horse, gallop him around when they're riding bareback without a um, saddle. And at night, like after dinner, I get him at the dinner table, we'll sit down and, and he'll say, we'll tell him, you know, I, I, I tell him all how you ride a bull, you know, how you can ride a bull or how you become a champion. People are asking me and they, they always ask me if they, where the little chap is and where's little Pete and I say, hey, home here. Uh, well, we want a photo with him. How you become, how you become what he is? And I said, well, there's a lot of courage, a lot of talking. I talk to him all the time and I tell him how to ride a bull and how to become whatever he is now, you know. What do you think about that? That's what you're going to do? PBR rider? Yeah. You want to be Lane Frost? Yeah. You want, that's who you want to be? Who's your hero? My dad. Wow. Hear that, mate? Yeah, nah, I'm his hero, all right. He doesn't want to be Lane Frost, he wants to be Peter Gregory. You're a good man and a good father. Yeah. And you're an example of what it takes to look after your children and make a good kid out of them. Righto, here he comes, young Peter, young Peter. Yeah, hey, young Peter, young Peter. Well, ladies and gentlemen, having a big round of applause for the young cowboy, Peter Gregory. There's a lot more to it than just sitting on the back of a bull. And if you want to come out here, this is what you're up against. Are you ready for the challenge? We'll get stuck into more rodeo action and see how this year's event is shaping up after the break. The Gulf Country Frontier Days Festival is all about gathering everyone together to watch some rodeo action, have a few laughs and spend time with the family. We have a strong sense of culture here in the Gulf Country. The festival is a chance for us to share it with visitors and also indigenous people from the surrounding areas. It's also the biggest crobbery of the year and each year we are stepping up the entertainment.
But I'm happy to say I finally got Roger Knox to do it. It's taken me almost 16 years, but he's here. So without further ado, my countrymen, my Wanyi, my Garawa, my Gangla, the people, and my Yanyala countrymen that's here, and my Ladil mob, please welcome to stage the one and only Mr. Roger Knox. Yeah, and I, I am who I am. And I, I, I was here in 1985. We, we landed at the airport, but this old fellow wouldn't let us come in and pl play here. He was a manager, he used to be a manager. So we went to Birktown and we played up in Birktown and, uh, and uh, the mob from here came over to Birktown. I am what I am. I am an Aborigine. Roger Knox is an Aboriginal Australian and a renowned country singer. Known as the Black Elvis and the Curry King of Country, Roger is a Gomorrah man and was born in Moree. Keeps reminding me of you. Tonight he's returned to Dumaji and is and welcomed on stage. I, miss you, I love coming back to this community. I wish I could do it all over again. You know, places like this he hadn't visited for a long time. And the people, the people who like their music, they know what they want. And the kids, the kids are the same, you know. But even back in them days, those were their grandparents would be the same, they'd like to dance and you know, enjoy the music, the songs we sing, the stories we tell. It was, it was so beautiful, I, was, I really, I was really honoured to come back here to this place. This is our home and we want this event to be great for the coming generations of our people. Up next, I'll show you how things are shaping up for the 2017 Gulf Country Frontier Days Festival. You won't want to miss this. You can dream big in a big land, and that's what we've been doing. It's been almost a year since the 2016 Doomadji Rodeo and a lot has been happening. 2017 will be the first year of the Gulf Country Frontier Days Festival. It's been a dream of mine for years and it's all now about to become reality. Only a few weeks to go and my hometown here, Doomadji, will be flooded with visitors. Right here is where the main stage is going to be. All the entertainment, all the big stars singing to the masses. Imagine a sea of people dancing and enjoying the music. And up here, the rodeo action will take place. We have completely revamped the rodeo grounds over the past year. The quality of the chutes and the seating area have all been upgraded. All new fencing surrounding the front and the stock areas have been improved to make sure the animals are completely taken care of. We are doing all this to make the Frontier Days Rodeo the premier rodeo event of the Gulf. And there is more to come. It will be an extremely proud moment for any local to be awarded the first Indigenous Rodeo Champion in their own backyard. A lot of people are excited about that. A lot of people talking about it, um, talking about well, new changes here, you know. Um, a lot of changes coming into the rodeo and that. For me and my little family, uh, we, you know, we don't expect anything. We take what we, what's given, you know. This would be the first one. But I've I seen a lot of, lot of not like this before, but not an indigenous one. You know, I see, I've been, been around a lot of lot, lot of, um, exciting ones before, but not as big as an indigenous one like this. Indigenous riders like young Peter Jr. all across the Gulf country are training hard. Amy can't wait to um, show his reputation again, once again to Dumaji. But uh, yeah, no, he's, he, 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 get, he get inside, his, like inside he, he's happy, but um, he not focus on what happening out there, you know. You wanna just get in the shoot, do his stuff, and then that's it. All that's left now is to get involved. And we have something special for everyone. Dance groups from Dumaji and neighboring communities will perform a spectacular crobbery in the rodeo arena to welcome travelers to the festival and to the spiritual lands of the Gulf country. The festival will include nightly concerts and entertainment from some of Australia's most iconic musicians, Casey Chambers, Troy Casadaly and Shane Howard. Tickets are on sale now, so don't miss out. 
The dream is alive. Let me tell you, we put together an amazing package for you. We hope you can come and join us. We'd love you to come on this journey with us. Come and be a part of history. See you here.